so Josh, can you tell us what brands can do better maybe from the beginning of when they go to find a contract manufacturer, but certainly like after you find a group that you like to work with, I'm sure that there's, you're adding more SKUs. You are continuing to find ways to work together, to go through unknown situations or perhaps bad situations where you can't get some sort of critical component. So what can brands do better when they work with contract manufacturers? I think that's such a great question. And you, I think immediately the first place that my mind goes to is expectations, like setting your expectations up so that you're not going into, like, and this is even before searching for contract manufacturers or, or mm -hmm. even talking to one, it's just setting the expectations that, hey, it's not gonna take me one day to find a contract manufacturer. I'm not just gonna get on Google, find a manufacturer, call them, send them an email, and that's gonna be the case, right? allow yourself the time it takes to, to find manufacturers, right? It does take time. It's something that I believe strongly shouldn't be expedited, even though no matter where I've worked, it's always been expedited in trying to find contract manufacturing because speed is the name of the game. And I completely understand that. But set your expectations up from the beginning to say, hey, you know what? It's going to take me four weeks to find a contract manufacturer. Yeah, that um, seems from quick. That, from, from, uh, yeah, I mean, that four weeks, four weeks is quite, that's like arbitrary. If you ask me, it takes yes. more than a year. It takes yep. more than a year to find that contract manufacturer because one thing is actually finding the contract manufacturer. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, the other thing is actually producing the products with them and then making sure they produce it for you three or four times. Then after that, then it's okay. I found the manufacturer that's going to make this product for me. That can easily take one to two years to, to feel that confident that, all right, this is the right manufacturer. Before that, you're still in that kind of call it the dating period, right? That dating phase of, I still don't know, it, it, like we haven't seen consistency in the product, but going back to that, like just the expectation is, yeah, it's going to take me a long time to find a contract manufacturer, the one that I know that I feel confident in that way. It eases the the other conversations you're gonna have with contract manufacturers, so that when you start reaching out to a contract manufacturer, and they and they tell you that the lead time for a new product is gonna be six to nine months, that way you're not like, oh man, it's six to nine months. I don't have six to nine months. I need the product in three months. It's like just setting those expectations up. I, I think go a long way, and then understanding the manufacturer is not just there to. Obviously, yes, they, they make the product for you. They're there to make the product for you and get it to you at the best quality, at the best cost, as quickly as possible, right? But understand what the manufacturer is doing from their end, right? Like you're giving them a PO to, let's go back to Vlad's peanut butter, right? You're giving, you're giving them a PO um, to make peanut butter. All on your end is a purchase order. I want 20,000 units of peanut butter. And then you let it go and then you forget about it, right? But you got to put yourself in the manufacturer's shoes. Like what happens from the point that you send them that purchase order? Now they got to go source the ingredients for you. If you don't have the packaging, they got to make sure that they have the packaging in their warehouse. If they don't, they have to buy packaging and just understand like the end to end process mm -hmm. that goes into making your product, right? Not just, Hey, I'm going to send you a PO. I need the PO in 12 weeks and let that be there. I think that just, that keeps it very transactional. The more mm -hmm you can understand of the manufacturer and their processes, the better you're prepared to handle any kind of issues that are going to arise in production. Because I, a lot of manufacturing is resolving issues. Like when products are on the line, it's just, okay, this issue happened. How do we fix it? The more you know about what happens in weeks one to week four, uh, after you place your PO, and then weeks four to week eight, and then week eight to week 12. And the more you can, the more granular you can get in understanding, it's gonna take them four weeks to get the raw materials. Okay, what mm -hmm. happens after the raw materials? Now they gotta inspect the raw materials. How long does that take? And then after they get inspected, now we gotta, now we gotta start scheduling you for production. How, how long does it take for us to actually get onto the production? Line? Understand all of that. So that way you're just better prepared to continue to ask questions and to c continue to get the answers that you need to make sure that you are going to, you're going to come out of that PO process, that purchase order process. I think that is huge, right? Just truly understanding the ins and outs of how a manufacturer works. And I think the last piece to ensure success is, and this kind of goes hand in hand with understanding, but 
shifting from a mindset of the manufacturer works for me and mm-hmm. transition that to a, a mindset of actually the manufacturer is an investor. Like they're, they're, they are investing in, in my business, right? Because when you approach a manufacturer from that work for me mindset, again, it goes back to being very transactional. What's the lowest MOQ? What's the cheapest you can get it to me? How quick can you get it to me? And it's left at that, right? And yeah, you're, you're, you'll find some manufacturers that will be happy to work with you, but they're probably not going to work with you for a long time. Now, if you start thinking about them as an investor and you start saying, hey, what is it that I need to, how should I pitch this contract manufacturer to actually do business with me, right? Yeah, of course I care about MOQs. Of course I care about lead times and costs, but what else can I show the contract manufacturer to make them really hungry for this business, to make them really want to partner with us and grow this product together, right? Because I don't know everything. I, I don't know like mm-hmm. the entire manufacturing process, the manufacturer does. So how can I use that, their knowledge and really get them uh, intrigued in the product? And part of that is just sharing with them your growth plans, sharing with them how you're going to achieve the X amount of dollars in revenue over the next 12 months, right? What are your, what are your plans look like? I find that really gets the manufacturer excited yeah. and you'll be way more successful in having manufacturers respond to you or take you seriously or competitively bid for your business. Mm-hmm. Doing that, like doing it that way, I think has really been what's helped me like form these strong relationships with manufacturers.